It may come as a surprise, but I am not good at PvP. I wear Technoblade skin, you'd think I'd be good at PvP, or really bad at PvP, and I'm the latter of the two. But I may have one thing going for me, and that is my ability with commands. Now, mostly this was to slash attribute damage and speed right now. <laughs> so, in actuality, I am really good at PvP. Hello everybody, welcome back after that wonderful intro, inspired by Mark Rober, and the person helping me was Phantom Reindeer, whose channel you should check out. Oh, I should probably say, there's a lot. Uh, I should probably clear the chat now. Uh, so anyway, this is the, this is a command tutorial about slash attribute. Now, slash attribute edits, you guessed it, the attributes. Oh, and I should probably reset. Attribute, Auth 5 note 378. Attack speed, the base for attack speed is actually set to four. And I could get the base attack speed from, uh, everything is apparently, set to four. Wait. Oh, wait, no. Whoops. That should be damage. Yeah, it's supposed to be one. Good. Enter main direct. No. That's why I have to be 78. Okay, good. Don't know why I'm sneaking a lot, but anyway... 
Oh, if you like the skin that I'm wearing, uh, you could leave a like. It would really help. And share, actually. That is also really important, but nobody seems to focus on it. Well, back to this. Slash attribute. That you can have a selector. And then... All of this stuff, probably most of it you'll never need to know, but I'll just start with a very simple one. Generic max health. And then you can use base. I don't, uh, so I know about get. Boom. Voila, it's, it's basically base get. You can just see it, even if so, if they have absorption and modifier, add, I guess. Oh, yeah, and then you have to add a UUID. Uh, you can look at that on the Minecraft with you. Right now we're focused on the base. Then set, it, get gets the base, set, you can set it to, let's say, 40. That would mean two rows of hearts. Because if you put it to 20, it is one row of hearts. Because, as you can see, it's a perfect example. You can have some hearts filled, some hearts half filled, and some hearts not filled. Each half heart is one health. So, normally you'd set it to 20, but if you want something, you can set it to one. So, therefore, you only have half a heart. You can set it to zero, which is also half a heart. You don't, I don't think you can set it to negative. Oh yeah, you can. Yep, you, but it's not that good. Oh, and if you want to do base set, let's say 10.25. Wait, let's, uh, let's actually do 20.25. And we can go. In fact, give off the note 78, re regen 3255. Oh, I'll cover effects if you want me to. Everything that you have to do. Oh, and apparently it just rounds up. Uh, so let's say if I had it at 20.1. It always just rounds up, 20.001. Okay, so it always rounds up. See, I'm also learning right now, but 20.5 and then 20.6 would oh 20.6 wait what if i set it to uh so 20.6 let's set it to 20.999 and then regen oh right because uh, it rounds to the nearest half and you can only get to a whole number if you set it to a whole number wait Oh right, it rounds to the it rounds to the nearest whole number. I think because point five do, does nothing. So let's do twenty one point nine nine nine. Oh yep, it rounds up to the nearest whole number. Apparently, that's pretty cool. Well, anyway, that's besides the point. So, you can set the major the main three that you're going to set would be, so, attack damage, attack speed, and max health. Those are the most. Then flying speed, base, set. Actually, I should probably get the base speed if it's one. Oh, yeah, I don't know how to fix that. Also, the knockback one. The knockback guy, don't know how to get that. You could always look it up. I don't know a lot of this. I'm just making it on the big three. Damage, speed. You know what? Let's look at knockback resistance. Base, set. Let's make it 10. Versus we can get it from... There, and it's zero. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, 
Oh, that might be revealing a bit too much. Don't want to know why, but... Well, you probably do want to know why now, and I won't say. So, knockback resistance. Okay. We can set it to... 78, knockback resistance. Base set 0. So, that will just make you take less knockback... And then luck increases. It's basically the luck effect. It increases the amount of uh, the the loot that you get from randomly generated chests. This base this does strength. That is sometimes haste. There's jump strength is jump boost. Max health is uh health boost. A lot of this is actually, uh, effects. But follow range is the range that mobs follow you. Base. Uh, you know what? Let's just do get. Oh, okay. I have no attribute that. And let's set it. Let's set it to 10. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do not know how to do any of all any of the entity does not have that. So movement speed base get so 0 0.1. Let's just say. Let's say 0 0.1. I will not mess with that. But you can mess with it however much you want. Which is the beauty of this luck. The knockback resistance follow range don't know how that I don't know. That I do not know. Armor and armor. I think. Oh, yeah. Armor base set. Let's put it at 20. And now, if I go into adventure mode with no armor on, the armor is set to 20. Let's say I want to, to be set to 100. It still stays at one row. But the base is zero. So, yeah, that's basically all of slash attribute that I know. So, I hope you liked. The main thing that I liked right now was the intro, but you do you. I hope you like, uh, and if you do like it, like the video, and I'll see you in the next video.